Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, moving along with soccer interviews, I have a special interview today with the two captains from the Homedale squad. Uh, my preseason number one short team, Asbury Park preseason uh, short team. I got Lexi Woji, Woji? Mm -hmm. and Katie Vasilak. <laughs> Sorry about that. I butchered that. Um, uh, both seniors, uh, finally, are home. Dealt. Girls, thank you for joining me today and taking time out. Thank you for having us. No problem. First to start, you know, 2-0, and how do you think the season started and how do you think the season's going to be this year for, you, for your squad? I mean, we're definitely starting off strong. Like, it's definitely a good start with two 5 nothing wins. So I think it's really just going to keep progressing and I think we're going to keep winning. Yeah. Now your team's in a, you know, pretty tough division with RBC – um, Rumpson. Um, so you think, I always say, you know, especially basketball, a tough regular season get, uh, prepares you good for the postseason. You think playing those teams will help you in the, um, throughout the season and for your postseason run? Yeah, I definitely think it's a good way to like get out good games with good competition. So we kind of prepare ourselves for the postseason. So like we're used to playing in like against tough teams in like, a good environment. Uh, how old were you two when you both started playing? Like five. Yeah, uh, five or six. Okay. Did you two play any other sports growing up? I played basketball. Mm -hmm. I played basketball and softball. Softball. When did you two realize soccer was, was the sport? I stopped basketball in like eighth grade, freshman year. I mean, for me, soccer has kind of always been my favorite sport. Mm -hmm. But when I started getting into, like, high school sports, I mainly focused on soccer. Yeah, it's tougher these days to play multiple sports, especially when you're on a – with your club teams basically being year-round. Um, do you remember who your first coaches were? <laughs> yeah, my first coach was actually the the goalie on our soccer team, Haley Sharp. It was her mom on the oh. goal. How about you, uh, Lexi? My first – my first coach for Homedale, uh, oh, Mike Dean. I remember him. With, I think his daughter goes to Mid-South and plays soccer there. Okay. So that was probably the Homedale, like, rec club club team. Yeah. Um, who are your current club team? Matchfit Academy. Matchfit? Yeah. Both? Okay. Yeah. Who's your coach now? Mike Lyons. Mike Lyons, okay. How has he helped uh, your game? He's really helped us, like, nail down, like, the smaller, more technical things, like, rather than just focusing on, like, the bigger things, like, possession and stuff. Like, he taught us, like, he really, like, honed in on, like, the fundamentals of, like, how to properly shoot a ball and make sure you can constantly do it right. And, like, yeah, and just, like, tactics kind of. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, I mean, we'll get into it. Homedale, you know, you had a couple different coaches um, th through the, you know, your four years. Um, probably good that, you know, finally coached there for more than one season. And, uh, you know, you get, you know, once you get familiar to a coach's style and then a new coach comes in and changes it up, did you find that difficult, you know, your first couple of years playing for Homedale? For the beginning of Homedale, I don't know. Gelty as our first coach, he was just like, he wasn't as intense as McCarlo, but I don't think it was a hard transition. I think it was a better one. Okay. Um, we wind a little bit with your background. Um, how, what has your family meant in your development? And, uh, you know, I know club, you're traveling all over the place. And, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time, money. How, what have your parents and your family have meant to you? Well, I mean, both my brothers both played soccer. So I feel like it was kind of like, as a family, it was like a big thing for us. And I mean, yeah, they've supported us through everything. So they've just been very good and it's nice to have them here for like being able like when we succeed it's nice to have them here with us so like they can live with like like they can go through it with us how about you Lexi I mean my parents are definitely like my biggest supporters I don't think my mom's ever missed a game that I've ever played and she works like so to come from work to a game it's like it's pretty cool that she takes the time out of the day to do that yeah it's Whenever I see, you know, parents at the game, it's, you know, great, you know, them trying to support their kids as much as they can. Katie, you mentioned you got two brothers. Are they older? Uh, yeah, they're both older than me. Were you three very competitive 
<laughs> growing up. Yeah, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> um, backyard soccer got pretty intense, I'm guessing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it was just, <laughs> they're definitely very influential in the way I played today. That's good. Lexi, do you have any siblings? I have an older sister and a younger brother. Uh, they play any sports, soccer? Uh, my sister played soccer for most of like her time growing up, but she runs track now at St. Joe's. Okay. Um, so athletes definitely run in the family. Going into home now, what are some goals you set for yourselves? You know, incoming freshmen, you know, could be tough. What are some goals you set? I think we both just really wanted to come in and just like, obviously we wanted to make varsity, but we also just wanted to like, we wanted to work and we wanted, we wanted to be able to like make a difference on the team just as young players and show that like age doesn't really matter on the high school field. As a freshman, any upperclassmen that, you know, helped you along the way, if you had, you know, questions or, um, you know, anything. Like a specific one. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Now, I think like it was really cool because we were freshmen on the varsity team so we were hanging out with like the seniors so the social aspect of that was really cool for us and it was new so it was nice that they were friendly with us mm -hmm. instead of like oh I'm the senior and you're a freshman so that was really good. That's how you know I also you know when you have good seniors that support the underclassmen that's how you know dynasties you know you could say are start you know built you know passing down um you know, certain uh, culture and, you know, traditions, you could say. Um, skipping a little bit, what, you know, Sophia was such a good player. What did you two, you know, learn playing with, you know, her over the years? You learn, well, if you want to be like Sophia, you learn to be loud. You always call for <laughs> call and you always be like a presence on the field. Like there was never a game, even if we were playing like a team who wasn't as good, there wasn't ever a game where she like backed off and she like loosened up. It was always like, she was always tense. Mm -hmm. She always had a giant impact on the field. Like she always teaches you to like make your presence. Bring the intensity. Yeah, bring the intensity. Uh, any, what accomplishment, you know, making varsity as a freshman is a huge accomplishment. Any other uh, achievements you made, you know, your freshman, sophomore year? Like in soccer? Yeah. <laughs> I, guess I, don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I said, you know, the focal point, you know, we could, you know, get right into, you know, last season, big turnaround with the team. You, you went undefeated. What do you think, a trip? what do you attribute that, you know, big turnaround and, you know, having such a great season last year? I mean, Coach Nicarla was very big on culture, and I think he taught us that from, honestly, like, the first day of preseason. He told us that, like, what you put in is what you're going to get out. And I think, like, a main reason for our success is, like, we bought into that. Like, we worked day in and day out in preseason at practice, and I think it really, the closer games, I think that's what let us win, like, the work we put in. Yeah, everybody knows his – you know, the background with the boys team. And now, you know, he definitely has you girls, you know, on that same path. So, you know, that has to be great because, you know, Homedale's always had pretty good soccer players. So um, helping get you, you know, the state recognition, uh, you, you girls finished top 10, right, last year, I think on NJ.com, I think five or something, which is, you know, that's a huge turnaround fr from the season. I don't, you know, not many teams could say that, you know, where were you, were like 500 the year before? Right, your, your sophomore year. <laughs> um, what what do you what were some really traditions that he brought along? You know, when you know first came last season. Well, he he's told us from like the start. He's like, I treat you girls the same way I treat the guys, and the guys were back to back state champs. He's like, yeah. everything, all the running, all the drills, everything that you guys are doing, I did with them. <laughs> so it's really just the same mentality that he had with them that he has with us. Mm -hmm. That's um, and I noticed at the end of the season, didn't he bring the boys? Uh, you, you didn't you like a little scrimmage at the end of the year? The boys, girls. Um, how did that go? We actually weren't able to play. We had oh. um, a different practice, but uh. 
we heard it was very fun. I mean, we were there. We were there in the beginning, and we know a bunch of them because yeah. they were freshmen when they were seniors. Yeah. Okay. So it was cool to see everybody come back. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I want to touch on you know touchy subject. What were your feelings when the season was canceled on you girls, and you know no fault to any player on your team either. I mean, I think it was kind of just, it was just, it just, it was upsetting because I think we knew that we had potential to go all the way. Mm-hmm. So it kind of just felt like stolen in a way of like what could have yeah. been. Yeah, uh, it was, it was disappointing. You know, when I, when I found out and I got the text, I was like, oh, because um, you were in the wall and Rumson bracket, right? Yeah, so, you know, matching up with Rumson again would have been fun or, you know, you know, you didn't get to play Walt during the regular season, but they similar style to your team with, you know, constant attack. Uh, it would have been fun, fun to watch. I like to ask the players this. What something, something you wanted to improve on? You know, each of you, please answer this. Uh, going from your sophomore year to your junior year, because, you know, watching basketball, watching soccer, I see that's where the biggest improvement or, or jump in improvement is on um, most players. So what was something you both wanted to improve on? For me personally, I wanted to improve on like attacking because I was never like a selfish player growing up. I always like got the ball and then immediately would pass it off to someone. So for me, I always wanted to like dribble up and like shoot it myself. So that's what I wanted to improve on. Okay. How about you, Katie? I just wanted to work on like finishing because my I've always struggled. Like, I would be able to get there, but then I wouldn't be able to just put the ball away. So I think that was my main focus on, like, what I wanted to work on. Well, you've had a good start to this season. Uh, what do you have, five goals to start the season? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's a pretty good start, you know. And, um, not strong, but, you know, St. Rose is a pretty decent team, and they got a pretty decent defense. And, you, you know, your squad, you know, the attack, and which was something we saw last season uh, when I got to see you girls play. Going back to last season, um, do you think the RBC games was the statement, you, you know, the two statement games? You know, okay, we beat you the first time, and then that second game, you really, you know, put a statement that the first game was no joke. You know, we, we are the team to beat in the shore. Can you just talk about those two games a little bit? I think, as you said, those games were big statements, but I also think we took those very seriously. Like, I think if you were to ask anyone on our team, the way we prepared for the RBC game was just different. Like, like the locker room, or we couldn't go into locker rooms last year, but, like, the pregame, it was just everyone was focused. Everyone knew that, like, if we want to make a statement, this is the game to do it, and I think we did exactly that. Like, we showed that we were, like, forced to be reckoned with last year. Yeah. I got texts from RBC parents and they even after the first game, um, I said, I go, what happened? I go, was it upset? He goes, no, he goes, they, they owned us. <laughs> so, you know, that's a pretty good thing. You know, when parents of the opposing team are sending me those messages saying that, you know, the, the, their, you, your team is, is the team. Um, Lexi, you have any comments on those two games? I mean, it's kind of just like the same thing Katie said. Like, we really focused for that game. Like, we were like, all right, we're going out to play RBC, and we're playing them twice, and we're going to win both times. So let's get it done. So that was kind of like our mentality the whole time. Um, just talk to the Rumson game real quick. Um, you know, Sophia puts that uh, – what was it, two seconds on the clock when she put that goal? How is it, you know, playing in a game like that, you know, close – you know, those are my favorite games to watch – as a spectator, I don't know how fun it is being in those, you know, those tense games. But what was the feeling when she scored with, you know, so little time remaining? It was such, like, a rush of, like, energy that I got. Like, as soon as I saw her just put the goal in the back, and then I was like, oh, my, like, that's insane. Like, she had two amazing slide tackles. Yep. She gave no mercy, and they were clean, too. Uh, like, I I agree with you. I know people complain, but, you know, I've ref soccer, I've coached soccer, you know, I've been involved with it since I was five, and uh, th- those were clean tackles in my, my opinion. And I'm a neutral, you know, observer, so so I agree. And, you know, I called some people out on it when they were complaining, saying, oh, those, those were clean, you know, just, you know, people are going to hate, right? <laughs> um, going into this season, what, you know, being the senior leaders and the captains, what are some things you're hoping to pass down to the underclassmen? I would say, like, intensity and, like, work ethic. Like, I feel like 
when we condition and when we do, when we have those hard practices, I think the best thing that you can pass down is just like, no matter how hard it is, like you just have to keep working and you have to just push through because in the end, it'll all pay off. Yeah, your, your team's condition, you know, you just sit, you know, the attack just doesn't stop. You know, your team just it keeps on attacking. And, you know, eventually you're going to wear, even the better teams are going to wear their defense down. And, you know, eventually, you know, if it's a tough game, you're going to put one in the net. Uh, what are the goals? Um, you can tell me individual goals you have and, uh, you know, the team goals for this current season. I mean, we definitely want to go 15-0 and again or have an undefeated season. That's a definite goal. Okay. Um, what else? What other team goals? I think, I mean, ideally a lot of shutouts would be nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We want no shots. We want no shots. <laughs> every, for every game, me and my center back, AB, and our keeper, like, say to each other, like, no shots. Like, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. no goals today. Yeah, I think what St. Rose only had, I think, two, you know, decent opportunities. That 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 was it. Um, I didn't. Who did you play last game? Mammoth. Mammoth. So I'm pretty sure, you know, it was probably a similar. You know, no offense to Mammoth, but you know, it was probably a similar, um, you know, shot selection. Uh, there is a short conference tournament this season, right? Yeah. Tournament this season. Okay, that that'll be good. Um. Are you up for round robin? Uh, quick uh, uh, round robin questions. Um, favorite TV show? Keeping up with the Kardashians. I have to say Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl. Favorite movie? Wolf of Wall Street. Huh? Wolf of Wall Street. One of my favorites. Um, favorite school subject? History. <laughs> Maybe like math. Like any, I don't know. <laughs> math. Uh, favorite number? 27. Seven. Uh, favorite um, song or genre? You, know, you don't have to give me a song or band or group. Kanye. Kanye or Eminem? <laughs> okay. Eminem. Date, date myself there. Um, something you two enjoy doing uh, in your free time when you're not playing soccer? I like to read. Oh. <laughs> I like to play with my dog. <laughs> you usually don't hear reading when I ask that question. <laughs> I would say it's Jersey Shore. You know the answer I usually get is the beach. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I like I like that you two gave me different different answers because everybody knows everybody goes to the beach <laughs> in the shore. Um, last one. What's your favorite color? Black, navy blue. Navy blue. <laughs> Uh, want to talk your future what are some things um you're looking at at colleges uh right you you both you haven't picked what you know what schools right um i'm playing soccer at dickinson college do people know that it was is that public knowledge i feel bad if that's not and it's not like it it's, should be it's not not public uh, well i i feel special that it was uh <laughs> announced on here I've been trying between basketball and soccer getting at least one person to be, this would be the first. So Dickerson, um, what made you uh, pick that school or what are some things you liked about that school? It could be non-soccer related. Yeah, I mean, they had a really good program for what I'm looking to study. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they have a very good, they have a very strong soccer program as well. So I think it kind of all just fit in. Good. Uh, what do you want to study? Uh, political science on like the free law track. Excellent. I was in political science slash journalism communications major. Lexi, how about you? What are you looking at with schools? I mean, I want to go, I definitely want to go D1. Mm -hmm. And I know I want to go down south. South. It's the place to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know what you want to study? Otherwise, like business or communications. I don't know yet. <laughs> do you know what you want to do after college? No idea. No. That's true. When I was in school, people changed their majors three or four times while in college. So not no, it's, it's fine. Um, and uh, Katie, you said you uh, pre-law. Is that what you're looking? Yeah, I think so. If nothing changes. <laughs> yeah, things you never know. Would you two ever be interested in like training and coaching on the side? Yeah, I think that would be so Yeah, fun. I feel like that's a nice little pastime. You like working with little – I've noticed, you know, talking to players, whether soccer or basketball, a lot of them are more and more like 
you know, working with the younger kids and uh, like when they come out to support them. And uh, do you, you two enjoy that? Yeah. Like, does the home dad ever, like, the younger kids ever bring their, you know, teams over to watch? We do, like, uh, I think, I don't know if it's our homecoming, or, no, not our homecoming game or our senior night, but we do the little kids play at halftime. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. They're also they have, our like, ball girls all the time. Yeah. That has to be, that has to be a good kick for, for them, you know, yeah. being close to you. Um, I know, you know, my niece does stuff in Jackson and, and uh, you know, does the basketball camp and the soccer stuff. And uh, she gets a kick whenever a player comes up to her, you know, after a game or something. So, uh, you know, you, you don't realize it at the time, but, you know, your kids have influences on the younger kids when you're on, you know, whether it's the basketball court or the soccer field. So um, last question for both of you. What would you, what advice would you give your younger selves? Does it have to be soccer related? No, no. It could be any life, anything. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely, like, work hard. Or, like, put, like, give, like, your all into whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're, like, passionate about, because it pays off in the end. Because if you love it and you know you love it, there's no point in, like, half. Yeah. You know, I, I was going to fill that sentence in for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guess. I would say just, like, just like savor it for like, like savor the moments while you're in them. Because I feel like, I think everyone said our freshman year, like they say, it, I think everyone hears it and they're like, just, it goes by really quickly. So just have fun. And I feel like we've, we've talked about it like ourselves, like looking back senior year, you're like, it's literally, you don't even know where the time went. And I think yep. we had a fun freshman year. Yeah, we did. So I feel like it was just, yeah, it just, just, Living like appreciate the moment too. That's great, and you know, especially with everything that happened last year, you never know when you get thrown a curveball, and you know, and, you know what what you kids had to go through. You know, just not even sports related. Just you know, one day you're in a classroom, and the next day you have to learn how to virtually learn and stuff. Um, do you think that will help you? You know, I brought this up last year when I was interviewing players all of a sudden being in the classroom and in virtual learning, do you think, you know, that kind of quick change and adjustment will help you, you know, when you're transitioning into college next year? Possibly. Yeah, it forces you to, like, adapt to your surroundings really quickly. So I feel like that's a good skill to have to learn early on. I think it will help with your time management, too, because college, you just get handled a syllabus, and, you know, it's you go from there, and especially, you know, you're going to be playing, you're both going to be playing soccer, you know, just in uh, – you know, finding the time to do everything. Um, girls, I appreciate you taking time out during your uh, study hall, and uh, I wish you luck. Who do you, who do you have this week coming up? Well, you got Middletown North Saturday too, right? What time is that? Is that still two o'clock? Yeah, at home. All right, I think I think I'll be there. So hopefully. Um, so who do you have next week? Rumson on Tuesday. Okay, well, the schedule is going to start getting. Uh, uh, challenging which is good so i wish you two two luck and um Thank you. let's see what happened with your hand if you don't mind me asking oh my i fractured my wrist over uh, the summer. it was we uh, had like a tournament thing and i just landed on it wrong okay so still playing tough though yeah. you you girls uh, you know all of you is tough playing with the injuries some of you playing with the injuries that you get i, I, I wouldn't be able to do it you know but all right girls i'll let you go thank you for taking the time out and good luck this season. Thank you. No, no problem. Have a good day. Thank you.